<sighs> Whew, all this court stuff is making me tired. And it seems like it's not just me. Of all the courts in all the land, this genius over here decides to come in dressed just like me. Have a look at the judge's face. She doesn't seem too happy about it, does she, lads? Let's see what she's got to say. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Adams. Do you or do you have on a bathrobe? Because when we brought you in earlier, you were sleeping. Your head was down on the table. You were asleep. And now you have on a bathrobe. So I need you to go get dressed for court. And then I'm going to bring you back out later. Well, that's no fair, Judge. How come you're allowed to wear a robe? Anyway, so he goes off and he disrobes. Like, literally, disrobes. So you'd expect that now he'd be in a state of a bit more heightened awareness that perhaps the judge might be watching him and want him to act in a certain way. No. Unless that certain way is sleeping. And he sleep again. I'm not going to do... What? It's not... It's not... Mm -mm. It's, he need to go to bed. Now, some people use caffeine to wake up, which is especially good out of an Irish demon mug linked down below. Shameful plug, I know. Some people use caffeine to wake up. Some people just use the beautiful sound of the birds to wake up. I think what this lad needs is what my mammy used to use to make me wake up. The Get the Feck Upper 5000. AKA the Celtic Battle Spoon. Let me tell you lads, one of these across the arse first thing in the morning and you'll be getting out of that bed, son. Do you all know Mr. Adams' phone number? Because he waking up enough to see that he get, keep getting kicked out? Text him again, Judge, yes. I mean, what is... What is going... Oh, okay. Mr. Adams, well, sit up straight. Sit up straight. And stop being asleep when I bring you into this courtroom. Now, that I, I have brought you in here. Then I keep removing you because your head is laying down as if you're not coming to court. You are coming to court. You are at court. Listen, stop talking. Yeah, stop talking and do a lot of listening right now. You are at court. It is inappropriate for you to come to court like this. That's inappropriate. I'm going to send you to the breakout room so that you can speak to the lawyers. When you come out of the breakout room or out of the waiting room, I do not want to see you laying down on that table. I do not. I need you to be sitting up in an upright position, ready to attend court, ready to attend court. Mr. Jalen Adams, and prior to his entering his appearance, Your Honor, we would apologize to the court, and Mr. Adams will too. Mr. We usually, uh, we always send out a um, reminder with some final instructions about court appearance. And Mr. Adams, uh, had a telephone number change in the interim. So he didn't get our message. He apologizes for his improper decorum earlier. And I believe he's made the necessary adjustment, Your Honor. Mr. Adams, please tell the judge your full name. Before you do, Mr. Adams, let me just say this to you, dear listener. If you need an email or a text message reminder to not be asleep in court and to not wear a bathrobe to court, then you have bigger problems. And if my mom was your mom, You'd have even bigger problems. The reason that he was laying his head down, Your Honor, at, when the court called the case is because he's indicated to me he hasn't had any sleep in the last 48 hours worrying about this case. Mr. Adams just turned 21 years old today. Um, he's not trying to have any problems in his life. I believe he will abide by this court's no contact condition, and we would ask that the GPS tether be removed. I don't know of any violations, Your Honor. And again, um, well, that's our argument. Come on, Your Honor. It's his birthday. Just having a little birthday snooze. And you know what? For all of you watching right now, can we get a happy birthday sleepyhead in the comment section? Or whatever other good nicknames you might come up with for him. Why'd you get him a gift? For example, <laughs> y'all know what's coming. An Irish demon mug to drink coffee out of so he doesn't fall asleep in court. If anybody wants to buy one for themselves for that same reason, again, it's linked down below. And I do appreciate your support with the merch and things like that because this channel has been nuked with demonetization over the past few weeks. I don't know why they would be calling Mr. Adams, but if they have any questions, they need to contact you. Um, Mr. Martell, you giving me Gary Jones vibes right now. God rest his soul. You walking around and stuff on that camera. All right. Anything further? No. Um, 
nothing on behalf of Mr. Mr. Adams. Adams thank did you. you raise your hand just now? Okay, thank what you. What is it? Yes, I had a question. Can I speak? Uh, yeah, and I'll tell you if it's a if if it's not a appropriate question for me, I'm going to cut you off and send you to the breakout room with Miss Stevenson. Okay, it was just about my curfew time. Okay. Okay. So what time is my curfew time? Because I know it was 8 to 8. Right. So no. So now you can be out until 11 p.m. And then you can't go out again until 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay. So from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m., you have to be at home. So between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m., I have to be at home? No. Mm -mm. Oh. Between 11 p.m., 11 at night. At night. So when, when 11 o'clock at night come, you have to be home. And then you can't leave your house again until five o'clock in the morning. Yes, ma'am. You will probably yes, be Honor. asleep, though. You're going to be asleep. Your Honor, I don't think it matters what time of the day or night that it is. This guy is most likely going to be asleep anyway. Do you work, Mr. Adams? Yes, ma'am. What time do you have to be at work? I have to be at work early in the morning because I work at the hospital because I start next week. So what time do you have? What time? What's early? So I have to be there maybe lying around like nine or 10. OK, so that curfew, you you can be at the hospital so you can at five o'clock in the morning. You can you can leave the house at, after five o'clock in the morning and you could be gone all day. And when 1059 come, you need to be walking up your stairs because 11 o'clock that curfew hits, okay? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Anything further? Nothing on behalf of Mr. Adams. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. All right, Mr. Adams, you're all set until July 27th. And then if you don't have any curfew, if you don't have any curfew violations, if you don't have any tether violations, if you haven't had any contact with the witnesses, then I'll re I'm, I'll reconsider the motion, okay? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Have a great day. Stay safe. All right, sleepyhead. You go on back to bed now. Now, while we're on the topic of sleepyheads, there's this other sleepyhead that I'm about to make a video about. I'll show you guys a little clip of it so you can see what's coming up. It's actually really funny because she gets really sassy with this judge. And that's the wrong judge to get sassy with. In fact, pretty much any judge is the wrong judge to get sassy with. But especially her. All right, I'm going to... This, Ms. Stevenson, you spoke to Ms. Bradford in the in the breakout room, and now she's laying in the bed attending court. It's, that's that's, gonna, that's did, so Honor. unacceptable and so ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. Please return to the breakout room in the manner that she continued to speak to me, even when she saw that I was the judge laying in the bed. She was laying down in a bed. I said I Ma'am, Miss Stevenson, this is this because anything you say probably is not going to work out good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. So, Miss Bradford, ma'am, if. All right, folks, so that video is going to be coming up just after this one. And it's quite a doozy. Let's just say she's got enough cheek for another arse, and the judge does not like it. So, that's enough for our narcoleptics for right now. We'll catch you in the next one, everybody. Thank you so much. Start checking.